Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony, and today we will go through the process of staking out a line uh, using General Survey in Trimble Access version 2021.10. Let's get started. All right, so staking out a line in Trimble Access. So I have my Access emulator open right here. Uh, first thing I'm going to want to do, obviously, is get some line work on my screen. So I, I have my survey started. I'm all ready to go. Uh, so the first thing I'll need to do is just turn those layers on uh, that I have already imported. So by clicking on our layer manager icon here, you can see I have uh, two separate lines. Uh, one's a DXF and one is an XML. Uh, another file format you might uh, be comfortable or used to seeing would be an RXL. Uh, but for today, I'll just use the DXF and XML file formats. Um, if you're getting uh, some line work from your design person, uh, DXF might be uh, what you're getting. Uh, and a lot of times with those DXFs, uh, they're just set at an elevation of zero or, or question mark. Uh, and in the XML, uh, it usually is a, a 3D line, uh, so it's got some elevation tied to it. So I'm just going to turn these on here quick. Uh, one check mark uh, makes our line work visible. And when you get the little box around the, the little check mark there, that becomes interactive. So we can actually do our staking there. So I'm going to turn both, both of them on at the moment. And just to give you a kind of a kind of a look and feel. So I'm just going to zoom out and kind of put this in an orbit mode. So um, these two lines uh, are the same. They have the same horizontal uh, features. Uh, but once we rotate, you can kind of see that our DXF here is at an elevation of zero, and then our XML at the top here uh, does have uh, basically a, a 3D uh, attributes assigned to it. So uh, depending on what you're getting uh, from your design person, uh, you might be used to seeing, seeing some of these. So I'll just get back and go back to my plan view, and we'll just kind of go uh, one by one and show the kind of the features and how to do this. So I'll just turn off my XML for the moment. So now we're just using a, a DXF. Again, uh, no elevation assigned to anything. So basically uh, just straight straight polylines, straight line work. Um, so by using my selection tool up here, uh, so I'm in the field and I wanna stake it. All I need to do is just click on the line. Um, so you see I have a line, I have an arc, and I have another line. So they are segmented. Uh, there is a way to um, kind of join these lines. Uh, in my show icon down at the bottom here, if I go to my settings, oops, by scrolling down, there is an explode polyline you know, or DXF uh, checkbox. So if I turn that off and hit accept, now if I select it, it, you can see it's one continuous line. So depending on what you're doing and what you'd like to see, I do have the option to kind of break in these. So uh, for today with the DXF, I'm going to actually keep these separated. There we go. So then I'll just kind of go through the, the features of staking these out. So uh, in the field, click on my line. I can also click on the node if I want to stake that out. I can hit my review button at the bottom here, uh, kind of get my, my coordinates that are listed. Obviously, you see my elevation is, is at zero for this DXF. By clicking on the line, you can see I have a, there's a little arrow behind here. Uh, it, that's the orientation and direction uh, that you want to stake. So depending on what side of the line I click on, that differentiates my stakeout direction. So uh, if I'm going from, in this case, west to east, uh, I'll click on the west side of the line to get my arrow heading towards the west or towards the east, I should say. And then once we have that selected, you can hit stakeout in the bottom right. Uh, my field name is just the name I had the name I had it labeled in my TBC project and then here are some some options on how we want to stake so we do have a, a few uh, starting at the top here uh, staking to the line if I just go ahead and hit start you can see this is the screen that you'll be seeing uh, when you're out in the field so you know as you move around your values are going to to update as you're walking around in the field. Um, so you, basically, this is just staking to the line. It's not giving you a specific station. It's just letting you know, you know, when you are actually on the line. So roughly right up there, my horizontal offset of about 100. Um, so that is one way to to stake just to the line. Well, I want you to have are in a in a uh, location that you're comfortable with. You know, maybe I wanted to be at station. 
station 50. So you're kind of out in the field, just kind of trying to tweak your location a little bit. Let's say that's good enough for now. Uh, just hit measure, uh, name your point name, code it however you want, and then your method, and then hit measure and store. And then you have a, uh, a location on that line for staking to the line. Another option you have in here is a station on the line. So again, just the line name that you need, uh, antenna height. So it's station, I want to take out station 50. Um, a station interval, I'll just throw it 25 feet. And then I can hit start. So here it tells me I have to stake out that station that I'm on, station 50. I need to go west just a tad. That's good enough for the emulator right there. So now I know I'm at station uh, 50 plus 00. zero. I can hit measure and store, um, knowing that I'm a hundredth foot, a hundredth south, and you know three thousandths east. And again, uh, I, I, when I'm surveying, I'm out uh, in a 3D world. So um, my again, my DXF is at that um, elevation of zero. So my cut is going to be pretty high. Uh, it might be a fill depending on where you're at. Um, so that is the station on the line. Uh, you do also have a station offset from the line. So if I just zoom in here quick. So I want to be at station 50. Uh, my interval is still at 25 feet. Uh, my horizontal offset, what do I want to be at? So I can hit my little uh, right arrow. And I can go either left, right of my, my line. Uh, and I, obviously I can change my offset if I need to. And on the screen, it, it kind of updates the map you know, accordingly. So depending on what I want to stake, um, whether right side of the line, left side of the line, and also if I have a vertical offset I want to enter in as well, I can do that. Um, once I'm happy, I just need to hit start. And it'll update my map uh, and tell me I need to go 9.8 feet south and 1.59 feet west um, to get to my uh, offset. So that's one another way to uh, stake out. Another way would be to slope from a line. So uh, your slope distance left or right. Uh, you have a few different options. You can use a horizontal and vertical distance, uh, a grade or a slope, or a grade and a horizontal distance, uh, just depending on what kind of maybe, maybe sort of plants that you have. Uh, you can enter those in uh, for both the left side and the right side. And hit start but obviously yeah, I just have one single line here and no elevation tied to it so um, maybe if you had a, maybe a 3d line uh, we could obviously do that uh, and you would get your your slopes and offsets depending on again what your plans are at you also have the option to do a station skew offset from line so what that is is it gives you uh, a station I want to say I want to be at Stake out station 50, interval 25, and then my skew, depending again on what side of the line I want to be on, left or the right. Once I update that, so maybe I also want to be 10 again, it uh, automatically updates on my map. So uh, my offset is going to be my distance, and then my skew forward, I can go forward, backward, or azimuth here. Maybe I want to switch to uh, backward uh, or an azimuth or forward. Uh, if I want to change my, my angle, I can do that, and it updates my my screen. So just depending on what you need, uh, and I'll see your elevation, which with this example, we're not going to have anything. Um, but you can also, you know, obviously switch it around and, and update the map on your own, uh, depending on what you need. Maybe there's a, a structure, a tree, or something uh, in the way uh, at the 90 uh, degree offset. So maybe you just want to skew it. Uh, then write that down on your on your lap. And then the last thing that we have for the line would be a distance along the line. So again, this is going to be important in the direction of travel. See, we have the, the blue arrow. And uh, distance, so say I want to be a distance of maybe 20 feet from my point of beginning. Uh, interval doesn't really matter. I can just type in whatever. I uh, then hit start, and it's going to tell me I need to go 30 feet back along the line to get to that station number 20. So uh, not too crazy, uh, you know, 
uh, of options uh, with the DXF, pretty self-explanatory. The next thing would be to show you guys the arc. And again, out in the field, have your selection tool, click on the arc, and just hit stake out. So with the arc, we have a couple different options, uh, but to the arc is still an option. Select to the line, a station on the arc, a station offset from the arc, slope from the arc, uh, the intersect point of the arc. So by do selecting that, and if I hit start, as I'm in the field walking around and I want that intersection, Get somewhat close there. That looks fine, close enough for today. Um, but I think you get the idea. So basically, we're just going to stake out that intersection. Uh, once you have your uh, location, go ahead and hit measure and then store. And then the, uh, the arc would also be center point of arc is also an option. So go ahead and hit start. Oops. So we have to go 217 feet. But again, you would just navigate to the center point of the arc and measure and store there. So arc, you have a little uh, a bit different with some options um, between the intersection and the center point of the arc. So uh, that's kind of the, the nuts and bolts. If you ever get stuck and you want to uh, know what each command does as far as staking out, hit your menu button and go down to your help. And this will bring up the, the help uh, section of access. Click on job data, down to stake out, and then stake out a line. So it gives you uh, what each stakeout method is whether you want to the line, distance, station, station offset, slope, and skew. So it gives you a little description, a little diagram of what you're actually staking. So uh, just something to keep in mind uh, that Access does have this in there as well. All right, so let's get into our XML. Pretty similar, um, but again, this is all 3D. So if I want to just move my rover here, I can select my line, hit my stake out. It does look a little bit different. Uh, the, the map screen isn't in uh, this section of it, but if you want to stake out a station on alignment, simply enter in your station, or at the bottom here, you can uh, select your station minus or your station plus to get to the next station. Uh, interval you can change to whatever. I'll just go 25. I don't need an offset, but you can add those in if you need to. I'll just enter and then start. And this is a screen that you get um, uh, staking out in XML. So as you're walking around, this will pop up. And you see as you're walking around, your, your values update there at the bottom. Once you get to your loca location, uh, you can hit measure. Uh, one nice feature with having an XML is now you get an option to do a cross section. So right down here at the bottom, right? Uh, if I had any uh, cross section data, uh, you know, if say this was a road, maybe I had a center line and then uh, you no know, edge a bit or something, uh, you would get that cross section here and you could watch yourself move around on that as well. So you get a couple different more options uh, doing the XML. Uh, so you also get the option to do to the alignment, the station on alignment, a side slope, and then a, a skew offset, uh, just like you did with the DXF. So uh, depending on what you need, uh, XMLs 
might be what you get. Uh, DXFs might be what you get, uh, just depending on what you're comfortable with and, and used to seeing. So uh, that's just a quick rundown of, of the stakeouts. Um, I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.